This here is Kumari. She is an Indian crested porcupine. So we're gonna do a little training session with Kumari here. There are a lot of reasons, station. There are a lot of reasons we train here at the Phoenix Zoo. Some of them are for fun or for behavioral enrichment. Behavioral enrichment just means that we are enriching the lives of the animals we care for. So this is kind of like playtime for Kamari. A little bit of structured playtime. It gives her brain something to do. It gives her body something to do. Turn. She is a pretty smart animal. She has been with us here at the Phoenix Zoo since she was a couple of months old. She was born at a different zoo. So she's very used to training and being around people and she picks up things very quickly. She is a rodent. So I don't know if this will pick up the sound of her chewing at all, but she has big strong front teeth that allow her to chew through all sorts of things. Back. So we trained her a back behavior in order to demonstrate how she would protect herself in the wild. As you can see, she has a whole lot of quills. Those really long ones are not sharp. They're called guard quills. They are used to make herself look really big and scary. So her main predator in the wild is tigers, and she can defend herself fairly effectively against them. So when she feels threatened, she is going to raise up the crest of quills on her head, and she is going to flare out the quills that are coming off the back of her effectively doubling her size. And then she's got really sharp quills underneath all those long ones and she will back into a potential predator and hope that that will make that animal go away. I'm gonna show you a good look of her quills on her back end. So you can see the long ones sticking up and then she's got shorter but still pretty long ones lying backwards. Good girl. And now we're all flared up because we're all excited. Let's show off some of your other behaviors. Stand. That one's pretty much for fun. She could stand against something in the wild, but not, not gonna be a behavior to keep herself safe. If you come to the zoo, you might see Kamari in our shows or out on Beck Animal Discoveries. But she does live behind the scenes. Another reason to train is to have the animal participate in their own care. So she is trained to go in a crate so we can safely service her enclosure, closure, station. And I have trained her to let me touch her so I can get a physical examination. Come on, I touch. Girl. And that touch behavior has recently led to us training her for voluntary injections. So we built a little chute that she can walk into in her enclosure and it hooks onto her fence. So that essentially just gets her near her fence. So then we can ask her to touch. And then a veterinarian can anesthetize her through the fence. And that makes it very, very low stress if we have to do examinations where she has to be asleep.